good evening. Thanks for joining us for News Press Now. I'm Charles Christian. And I'm Morgan Doyle. The city of St. Joseph is facing a public safety crisis. With, more, with 30 more patrol officers needed on the street, the interim chief of police says there are simply not enough officers to protect and serve the community. To help attract new recruits and sustain the force, the city is asking taxpayers to approve a new half-cent sales tax for the next 20 years. In this special report, News Press Now reporter Quinn Ritzdorf takes us on a ride along with two SJPD officers for an in-depth look at the staffing shortage. 23 speedies. I became a police officer because I really wanted to help people and I wanted to make a difference in a community and stuff like that. And I wanted to do something that I felt that mattered. Copy, 25. But not many people see a law enforcement career the same way as Claire Maple. Four, copy, go ahead and show me code till I get a little co closer, Belt and Pacific. No one really wants to be a police officer because no one feels safe doing the job. It's very dangerous and there's a negative outlook on police and you don't really want to be a part of something that's so vastly disrespected. Yeah, it has debris on, in it with a riding lawnmower. Officer Douglas Dudley said staffing is the worst he's seen in his six years with the department. When fully staffed, the St. Joseph Police Department should have 134 officers. Right now, it has 118, the lowest in eight years. You know, we're working pretty, we're working bare minimum. I mean, six to seven people, which is, it's, it's not good for officers or the community for response time. A full shift is 17 officers on the street. And when the number of police decline, response times increase. You know, we're running at minimum staffing on the street, and we've shuffled everyone that we can shuffle to fill those gaps and to try and keep things going. But we're at that critical point where uh, we want to be able to provide the services the community deserves. Right now, we can't do that. Those problems slowly spread from the professional life into the personal life. Actually, because I can't, some because we're so short staffed, I can't necessarily get all the days off that I want. So I miss out on my nieces and nephews birthday. I miss out on family Thanksgivings and Christmases and just family functions in general. Yeah, I think all of us, you know, it takes a toll on us and you know, getting stressed out, just trying to keep up can be very stressful. The solution to fixing the national police shortage varies. Some say it starts with training at local academies. Please come out with your hands up. Find local. Pro local. Um, a lot of folks want to go to the training and then come back and they want to work back home and we should cultivate that. The city's answer is increasing pay with money it doesn't have, which is why it's asking residents to approve a proposed tax that will bring in $5.5 .5 million for the next 20 years. It was clear that we had, to, we had to act quick. We were in a crisis situation, and when you're in a, a crisis situation, you, you kind of take those, those steps that you might not otherwise take. It really comes down to dollars and cents. When you dedicate a tax just for, you know, staffing our police force, uh, you know, uh, it's going to get done. Now, the answer is in the hands of the community. If, if it comes to me paying higher taxes in order to, you know, pay other individuals to keep the community safe, yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that. Officer Maple says money might help, but it goes beyond just the dollars and cents. At the end of the day, pay can only do so much. You need other benefits as well, other things that really make you feel like you're putting, like, real value, real stock in your officers, and pay is a great way to get there, but there's going to have to be some other things that go into that. Whatever the solution is to the police shortage, officers Claire Maple, Douglas Dudley, and the entire police department are waiting on the answer. Copy, 25. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Kornitzdorf.